So to continue on from part one where you saw me do the uh, background and put all those underlayers in, I'm now, now starting to work on the planet using very very similar colours so it is quite harmonious and using lots and lots of pastel, soft pastels, pastel sticks and only really using the pencils for any of the detail and it can be surprising really you know the kind of detail you can get with pastel sticks as well as the pencils especially if you want just a slightly soft edge as I'm doing now you can see I'm building layers, building building opacity with uh, pastels it's very rare you're going to get get it as opaque as you want with that first layer so you can see I'm increasing the brightness here around the edge of the planet so that's pushing that background sky really back into the distance and with lots of successful drawings or ones that are really really catch your eye they've got lots of layers of depth in there and by putting on the details now all those little clouds and other things on the planet with the pastel sticks the sticks are that little bit harder so they're not going to blur and blend away and now I'm doing the silhouette of the leopard first I use a black eraser to clean up the edges now I'm going in with a pencil and then black pastel stick now it's not pitch black because otherwise this Carbothello black pastel pencil wouldn't show up so I made sure when I put that silhouette in it was just a shade or two lighter than my blackest black now I've had to put these spots in kind of freehand because I couldn't think of a way to trace them on there but it seemed to work out okay but what I noticed then was now I'm coming in with the um, Prismacolor black is that the black or the silhouette of the leopard is not really as dark as I wanted it when I'm putting in these, these grasses the silhouette I thought needed to go a bit darker so I spent another hour putting the silhouette a little bit darker before coming back in and detailing all of it once again so you know even professional artists make mistakes as well I could have just left it as it was but I knew it would be a much punchier uh, drawing if I could take that silhouette down just a shade or two darker now I'm back with my pencils first of all putting in the fine grasses and I came back in them with that very dark prisma color to get the real darkest dark of the grasses going up into the scene now it was just a case of fine-tuning it increasing the highlights increasing some of the details and putting some popping colors here and there to really finish it off hope you've enjoyed it if you're looking for more art resources, I've really got you covered. I've got a dedicated tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of videos on there, ebook tutorials, you name it, it's on that site. I've got a Patreon art channel. So every month I put up brand new videos, and that could be pastel videos, oils, charcoals, the full length videos and there's also photo references with the easy trace line art on there I've got quite a few hundred people supporting me and that's on Patreon and also if you have to even more reference photos I've got a dedicated website just packed and packed with reference photos I think there's about 900 on there at the moment so that's wildlifeart-online.com now please with my YouTube channel new videos coming on here as well if you can possibly subscribe to the channel, then you're never going to miss out on new videos.